Hey, good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm Darren and this is Woodruff Woods. Probably here in the background, lovely Lisa's over there splitting some uh, maple up. And uh, I'm over here cutting some, uh, some oak up. And I might even jump into this maple pile here pretty quick. Uh, I need to get that cut up and get it split up so that we can have that for some bundle wood later on. But anyway, before I get started today, I wanted to talk to you about something I've been reading about. By now, most of you have probably heard about the government, at least certain people in the government, wanting to ban gas stoves. And uh, they talk about harmful particulates in your house and, and so on. And uh, actually my company uh, makes a lot of commercial uh, ranges uh, for, for big kitchens. Chefs are pretty split on this. Uh, a lot of them that uh, I recently talked to at a, a show I was at said they really prefer gas over anything they found electric. But uh, there is a lot of technology coming out. If they make it good enough, people will use it. But when I was reading about this, I got into they were talking about banning firewood. And there are certain areas of the country, I know uh, somewhere near the San Francisco area and some areas of Oregon, they have banned the use of firewood for heating. My initial thought was, well, if they do that, you know, my little side hustle here of doing firewood's out of business. And so I wanted to learn more and, and I'm gonna encourage you to comment here. I'm not an expert in this. I'm certainly not a scientist. But uh, as I was reading, you know, they talked about the, these fine particulate going up into the air. And I thought, you know, I, I'm not sure how much of that I buy. Certainly, you know, if you have an open fireplace or maybe even some of the old type wood stoves, that may be true. But today with the catalytic converters in them, running those gases repeatedly through that catalytic converter so there's almost no exhaust, it, it really tells me that much ado about nothing, frankly. But, um, so I started looking further and my initial thought was, well, if a piece of wood rots on the ground, what, what's the difference whether you burn it or it rots on the ground? The same gases and stuff, chemicals contained within that piece of wood are going to be released to the atmosphere. That is true. Um, on the downside of letting it rot is that it also creates methane, which many scientists say is worse for the environment than CO2 on the side of burning it is, all of those are released at one time. And again, you go back to some of these newer stoves, a lot of those gases are being burned off. So I'm not really sure that uh, it's any ho more harmful to burn wood than anything else. And in fact, it's probably the oldest form of heat. I know it predates any of the fossil fuels, so I can't think of what else they may have used for heat way back when, but uh, Certainly, humans have been burning wood for a very, very long time. I encourage you to comment on this. I'd like to get a little discussion going on this. Obviously, uh, if that comes to Pennsylvania, I will certainly be lobbying with every representative and senator that will listen to me. I don't agree with it, but uh, I don't want to turn this into a political channel. That's my personal opinion. Uh, I'm trying to give a fair and balanced uh, assessment of why on each side this may be Maybe something someone wants to do or not want to do. But i uh, love to hear your thoughts on this. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, get started here. I'm going to do a little cutting. Lisa's over there splitting. She's, I see she's pretty much got a full toe to maple over there. And then I'm probably going to move her to a little bit of a different spot here and uh, see if we can't get her uh, uh, cutting up. Maybe even some black birch. I might even help her do that, the way that stuff smells. So anyway, stick around and... Uh, We'll try to entertain you for a few minutes. This is a 550 XP. Love this saw. Uh, love it.
I'm gonna try to move some of these out of the way here. Maybe stack them up a little bit on this side. Should help Lisa out. Oh, forgot to put my pins in. Picked up the hydraulics, but forgot the pins. At least I noticed it before I ripped the hydraulics off the tractor. That's what I get for hurrying. I always make mistakes when I hurry. That frost going out of the ground, boy, it's getting slick out here. I have a feeling I'm probably out of oh, close to getting out of gas here too with the saw, but we'll see. Sharpen this saw soon. If I can pull this out, yeah, this will work out good. that down out of the grapple. Oh yeah. That'll work. It's about gonna be a wrap today. Hey, today is the 12th of February, and uh, just wanna mention, we only have one more month before we change the clocks again. And uh, I'm excited about that because, you know, I tend to work till about 5, 5.30, and uh, boy, there's like three months of the year I just can't get anything done. And uh, I mean, it's starting to be a little bit later. I've noticed it being, you know, lighter later um, recently. But uh, boy, that extra hour just makes all the difference in the world. So uh, I'll be counting down the days until we turn those clocks forward. And uh, as they say, spring ahead. So um, 
That's it for Wonder Woods today. I thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed and you like what you see, I ask you to consider hitting that button uh, right down here in the corner. Uh, that looks like my logo. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.